Hey everyone, my name is Andrew Langfield, and today I'm gonna show you guys how to do a seamless Instagram swipe in your Instagram. And yes, I am shooting from a car, my vehicle here today. We're actually in Ajax, Ontario. So we're doing a shoot for a college uh, church promo video that we're doing here, the college actually that I went to. And uh, my wife's parents actually live in this house. So we're gonna be staying here overnight, heading home tomorrow. But I thought I wanted to get you guys this video by the end of the week so that I can uh, keep up with uploading every week. So let's get into it. We're gonna be looking at uh, Instagrid. I, I call it Instagrid here. It's when you continue, sometimes you see like collages, like a picture, and then when you swipe, that collage continues. Um, you can continue the same photo. If it's a landscape picture, maybe well, half of it's on one photo and half of it's another one. And when you swipe, it's continuous. So we're gonna be taking a look at how to do that seamless thing. If you just wanna download the file, you don't care about how to create it and the pixels and dimensions and all that kind of stuff, go ahead and download it. I'll include the file that I used here in the link in the description, it'll take you to Gumroad and from there you can download the file and use it and there you go. So I'm gonna start by hitting Control N. Control N will make a new document here in Photoshop and what you wanna do first is we're gonna create how big the canvas is. So how do we actually determine this? Well, I went to Instagram and saw what the dimensions that Instagram recommends, which is if you're doing a vertical image, four by five crop, the recommendation is 1080 by 1350. So we're gonna multiply that to make it bigger. So I'm gonna make it five pictures long and two pictures tall, and I'll show you guys why. I guess you could do 10, you could multiply by 10. So all you do is 1080p times five, which gives us 5,400. So we're gonna put that on our width. And then for our height, I'm just gonna multiply by two. So 1350 times two gives us 2,700. And that's gonna be our height. Set your resolution at 300 pixels per inch. Um, and everything else should stay the same. Once you click OK, it'll create this very long, canvas and this is what we're going to be using i like to switch mine to percent on the top and then just go ahead and divide it so if you're getting five pictures out of it it's going to be 20. so 20 percent go ahead and put your markers here at 20 percent the next one's going to be at 40 percent and so on eight and then ten of course and then we're just going to do 150 percent which i'm going to slide down all the way to 50 percent great so now we've got it divided into the pictures that we want, and that's great. But now we gotta create our slices, because when you export it, we're gonna export slices, not the guides. So what you wanna do is go to your crop tool here, and it's gonna be the bottom one, the one that says slice tool. Once you select that, you'll notice here that says slices from guides at the top there. Once you click that, just as easy as that, now you've got a total of 10 images, and then you can hide your slices. I usually do this, I go to view, and then I say show, and then remove slices, just so it's not in the way. So what we wanna do now is import our pictures. So I downloaded a couple pictures that I had on Unsplash here, so I'm just gonna drag these ones over. Sweet, all right, so I've got all my pictures there. First thing I usually do is highlight them all and then resize them by hitting Control T, and I'm just gonna make them a little smaller. So then the rest is actually as easy as you might imagine. You wanna just go ahead and drag your images around, create your graphic design, maybe you're creating a collage. I'm gonna just do a simple collage just so you, can, you guys can see how I can add pictures like that. Excellent, once you have your selection here, you wanna to go to File, Export, and then Save for Web. You can also use the shortcut there, Control, Shift, Alt, S. And then I'm gonna zoom out here and just select the pictures I want. So I only want slice one, slice two, three, and four. I'm not gonna worry about five. And then I'm gonna click save. Oh, also one thing here, you can change these settings here. So for example, right now we have a GIF, so we don't want that. We want a JPEG quality, we want 100. Um, that's all seems okay. This is the width and the height. That looks good to me. I'm gonna click save. And down here in the slices, just click selected slices. Probably by default, yours will say all slices. So go ahead and go selected slices. And then you can rename it, of course, and then click save. Once we go ahead and take a look at what we actually have now, if we go to Instagram folder, images, and then you'll notice here your four images are exported now um, at a size ready for Instagram. You'll see here 1080 by 1350, just as recommended. And when you open them, you'll notice that your photos are there split up in slices. I think this is a really cool trick. Don't forget, you guys can download that Photoshop file that I used in the video in the link in the description. You guys just go over to Gumroad. It's a free file. And subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. And thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.